Hello, my friends. Welcome. It's April, and this is our special Breathe series. Say hi, Kike. She's on window patrol right now. I'm super excited to bring this to you. I think that Breathe is definitely something we think of with springtime. And I thought that that was the perfect word for a little monthly series on here because we're I'm always cueing for us to breathe deeply through movement, right? So in this video today, we're going to do some seated stretches, really, really easy, gentle movement, but we're going to really focus in on our breath. And first, we're going to talk about why that's so important. So get comfy, find a comfortable seat that's cross-legged or maybe a 90-90 or something. And we're just going to think for a second about why breathing is so important when we make time to stretch or when we make time to focus on recovery movement or flexibility. So there's a few reasons. One being, I think that whatever our life is going on outside of this time that we're on the mat together, it's probably crazy and hectic and fast paced. And so it can be a real challenge to even show up here in the first place. And then once we do show up, it can be a real challenge to put all of that aside and focus, really focus on what we're doing here. And this particular kind of work, the focus is a little bit more soft, a little bit more gentle, a little bit more calming. And that can be a really tough transition. If this is like just a little five minute spot that we have in our day, <laughs> Kike's not feeling calm right now. It can be really tough, right, to turn that switch on and off. And so incorporating deep, meaningful breathing helps me to make that transition to kind of calm down as I come into more of a soft, stretchy kind of space, right? The other thing is that breathing has been proven to help us relax, to help calm the nervous system, to help us if we're feeling stressed, if we're feeling really anxious, if we're all wound up and our brain is going a million miles an hour, deep breathing can help to calm that down a little bit. So that's another reason why I love to incorporate that. And then from a scientific standpoint, it's helpful for our muscles to get oxygen. So if you ever come into a stretch and it's like, oh, that's like a really big stretch. And then you take a deep breath through it and that seems to help, right? Well, there's a reason for that. We, we need to incorporate that deep breathing into our movement. So something that can happen when we are feeling a little stressed or overwhelmed or anxious is that we take shallow breaths. You know, our heart is working over time to keep up, right? Our heart rate might spike a little bit and we tend to breathe a little shallow up here, right? Like our shoulders might move, our chest might move. In time and with practice, if this, if this concept feels tricky to you, it felt really tricky to me when I was first developing a relationship with movement, we want to try to breathe into our belly. So taking the breath, the shallow breaths out of here and bringing them down here. And so that is what we're going to focus on today. So if that is a challenge for you, I totally understand. I 100% have felt that way. And I can promise you that with time and consistency and practice, some meaningful breathing, meaningful movement, that absolutely gets easier. And you'll start to see the benefits of really focusing our breath, bringing our breath down into our belly, full belly breath instead of kind of keeping ourselves restricted up here. So we're just going to do the best we can today. And with that, come into a comfy seat. If you're already there, amazing. We're just going to do some simple stretches, but through this movement, we're really going to try to focus on that belly breath. So first, we're just going to sit up nice and tall. Gonna, my Rhode Island accent is coming out. We're going to sit up nice and tall. So I'm in cross-legged, whatever is most comfy for you. Go ahead and roll shoulders back and down a couple of times for me. So we're just gonna transition out of our day so far and whatever we have going on after this little moment that we've carved out. And we're just gonna roll these shoulders back and down to start to work on that good, strong, open posture, right? Squeeze your shoulders up by your ears and then pull them back and down. One more time, squeeze up by your ears. 
pull them back and down. So now we're just gonna pause here. My elbows are pulling back, so my shoulder blades are together, chest is open. This is an active posture, especially if we work at a desk like this. This can feel like a lot of work. So just take a moment here, pulling belly button in towards the spine might help you to sit up nice and tall or grab a pillow or a blanket, sit up on a pillow or a blanket if you like. Now, bring your hands to your belly. And for some of us, there can be a lot of judgment around our bellies. So I want you to give your belly a little love pat. I love you, belly. Thank you for supporting me. Now we're gonna take a nice big breath in and you're gonna let your belly fill up and expand. We're always trying to make ourselves look smaller, right? No, I need you to take up space now. Big belly breath. And then exhale, your belly will deflate. Good. Big belly breath in. And exhale. Let's try one more time. Just do the best you can. Big breath into your belly. And exhale it out. Amazing. You can even bring your hands to your side body here and try another big breath in and see if we can get even the sides, like our entire belly, our midline filling with air. Ready? And then out through the nose or mouth, big breath in through the nose. Exhale, maybe through the mouth this time. One more time. And then out. Awesome job. Don't you already feel a little different? Take note of how you feel. Do those big breaths. Let's try to keep that inhale long and full. Exhale, empty it out. Let's interlace hands back behind us. You've got options. You can, instead of that, hold on to opposite elbow. If you can bring your palms to touch, if you can bring your palms to touch and then extend your arms stretching out so you pull shoulder blades together. If we can't straighten our arms, that's okay. Try for that big belly breath here. Inhale that belly breath, look up. Exhale it, drop chin to chest. Breathe like that two more times here. And then let go. Shake out those shoulders. Awesome job. Let's just take some neck circles. Keep that big belly breath going. Exhaling through the nose or mouth, whichever you prefer. And reverse your circle. Kike, you are full of energy. She's like off camera rolling around as you can see her. She's got her belly up in the air. Kike! <laughs> Such a ham. All right, and then go ahead and bring it back to center. Awesome job. I don't know about you, but just a few minutes of that deep breathing, right? And it's like, I don't know, it's like a refresh. I feel refresh, it's like a, a wash over you, like a <laughs> Let's go ahead and cycle through four more big belly breaths. On your inhale, we'll lift our arms up, look up, and then as we exhale, we'll float them down to close out today. Let's see if we can Breathe even deeper than we have so far in this little session together. Ready? Inhale in. Exhale. And then again. Two more times like that. And 
and last one. Biggest breath we've taken yet today. Let's do it. Amazing job, my friends. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope this little breathing session was useful for you. Take it off the mat, off our session together and see where you can incorporate those big belly breaths and how that might just kind of help you throughout your day. Much love. We'll see you next time.